Lessons Part 1 Today we will learn how to do calculation related to time. Neha, where is your attention? I am looking at the picnic timetable and trying to find out what time we should leave the hotel if we have to reach the amusement park at 10 o'clock. Even I am thinking of how much time we will get to enjoy the swings in the amusement park. So, did you find out how much time we will get? No. Come, let's do it together. Okay, show the timetable. Look, our bus will leave at 15 minutes past 7 o'clock and will arrive at the hotel at 35 minutes past 7 o'clock where we all will have our breakfast. Now Neha, first we have to see how much time our bus will take to reach from the school to the hotel. Look at the minute hand when the time is 15 minutes past 7 o'clock, then the minute hand is at 3 and when it is 35 minutes past 7 o'clock, then the minute hand is at 7. We only have to find the difference between minutes now. The difference from one number to another number is 5 minutes. This means that while going from one number to another number, we keep adding 5. When the minute hand is at 3, we will consider that time as 0. It takes 5 minutes to reach 4 and 10 minutes to reach 5. In the same way, it takes 15 minutes to reach 6 and 20 minutes to reach 7. This means the bus is taking 20 minutes from school to reach the hotel. Hmm, this was really very easy. Now we know that we have to reach the amusement park at 10 o'clock. If we also know how long it takes to go from the hotel to the amusement park, then we will be able to tell at what time we should leave the hotel. Sir has said that it takes 55 minutes from hotel to reach the amusement park. Then let's do one thing. Let's draw 10 in the clock and then rewind the minutes hand 55 minutes behind. Do you remember that? The difference from one number to another number is 5. Yes, I remember. Now look carefully. I drew 10 in the clock. Now let's rewind the minutes hand until it's 55. Okay. 5 minutes when moved from 12 to 11. 10 minutes when moved from 11 to 10. 15 minutes at 9. 20 at 8. 25 at 7. 30 at 6. 35 at 5. 40 at 4. 45 at 3. 50 at 2. And it will be 55 minutes at 1. This means the minute hand will be at 1 when it is 55 minutes before 10 o'clock. This means we have to leave the hotel at 5 minutes past 10 o'clock. No, Vandana, this is incorrect. How is it incorrect? 5 minutes past 10 o'clock means it is after 10 o'clock. Whereas we have to leave 55 minutes before 10 o'clock. Oh yes, but where was the mistake made? Look, you have moved the minute hand behind but you forgot to move the hour hand. Oh yes, it's 9 o'clock before 10 o'clock. This means we have to leave the hotel at 5 minutes past 9 o'clock so that we reach the amusement park at 10 o'clock. Yes, now it seems correct. Let's go and tell this to sir. Neha, I had asked you to find something. Did you find it out? Yes, sir. If we have to reach the amusement park at 10 o'clock, then we will have to leave the hotel at 5 minutes past 9 o'clock. Very good. I called the office of the amusement park. They said it takes 20 minutes to get the group tickets done. So, can you tell me at what time we will get entry in the amusement park after we reach the amusement park at 10 o'clock and get the tickets? Yes, sir. For this, we will draw 10 on the clock and after that, we will move the minute hand 20 minutes ahead. When we take the minutes hand from 12 to 1, then it will be 5 minutes. 
taking it from 1 to 2 will make 10 minutes. On 3, it will be 15 minutes and when the minute hand reaches 4, it will be 20 minutes. This means after reaching there at 10 o'clock, if we take another 20 minutes to get the ticket, it will be 20 minutes past 10 o'clock by the time when we get entry inside the park. Neha and Vandana, you are absolutely right. Now you have learned how to tell time. Okay, I'll go. You two go to your class. We calculated three things related to time. Three? Which ones? See, first we were given the start time and end time. We found out how long it would take. After that, we knew what the end time is and how long it takes. Through that, we found out the start time. And lastly, we knew the start time and the time it would take to complete the work. With that, we have found out the end time of the job. Oh yes, I didn't pay much attention to it. Sequence of Events Part 2 Today we will learn how to calculate the time related to completion of tasks. Let us ask each other some questions related to what was learned last time. It will be so fun. Last time we learned three things. First, if the start time of a task is known and how much time it will take to complete the task, we can tell the end time of the task. Second, if the start time and end time of a task is known, then we can tell how much time it will take to complete the task. And third, if the end time and how much time it will take to complete the task is known, then we can tell what was its start time. So, let's ask questions related to these three points. Alright, Vandana, first let us find out how long our lunch break is. Look, our lunch break starts at 10 minutes past 12 o'clock and ends at 30 minutes past 12 o'clock. Come, let's draw them first. So, this is the start time of our break and this is the end time of our lunch break. Now look, the minute hand is at 2. From here to 3, we will count 5 minutes. Till 4, it will be 10. Just like that, 15, 20. This means our lunch break gets over in 20 minutes. Now let us find out the class which is for 50 minutes. At what time will it finish if it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning? In this, the start time of the class and how much time it will take to end is known. And we have to find out what time will the class end. Look here, I have drawn the start time of the class in this clock. And we have to find out what will be the time after 50 minutes. Yes. So, for that, we will look at the minute hand. Right now, the minute hand is at 12. When we bring it to 1, it will be 5 minutes. When we bring it to 2, it will be 10 minutes. 15 at 3, 20 at 4, 25 at 5, 30 at 6, 35 at 7, 40 at 8, 45 at 9 and it will be 50 minutes at 10. Hmm, this means our class will end at 50 minutes past 9 o'clock. And we can also say class will end 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. Yes. Now tell me, to come to the amusement park tomorrow, we have to reach school at 7 o'clock in the morning. And if we take 30 minutes from home to reach school, then what time we have to leave from home? For this, first we will draw 7 o'clock in the clock. After that, we will reduce the time it will take to start from home to reach school. Right now, the clock is at 12. To subtract 30 minutes, we will get it from 12 to 11, which reduce 5 minutes. When it comes to 10, then 10 minutes. 15 at 9, 20 at 8, 25 at 7 and 30 minutes when it reaches 6. This means tomorrow we have to leave home at 30 minutes past 6 o'clock without fail. 
Today we got to know that tomorrow we have to leave home at 30 minutes past 6 o'clock. Today we learned how to do calculation related to time. Sequence of events part 3. Today we will learn about one mistake related to reading the clock. From home I reach school in 2 minutes. I take 10 minutes and we both reach at the same time. Then how does it take you 2 minutes? Even you should take 10 minutes, no? No, it only takes me 2 minutes and it takes you also 2 minutes. I told you it takes 10 minutes for both of us. Oh, why are you two fighting? Look, Riyansh does not even know how to read the correct time. I know how to read the time. Ayushman doesn't know. Can someone tell me the complete thing? I leave my home at nine o'clock, and I reach here at two minutes past nine o'clock. So is it not two minutes? Do one thing. Draw the time at which you reach here and show it. Okay. Take a look. When I walk from home, the hour hand is at nine. and the minute hand is at 12 then when i reach school the minute hand is at 2 so it's 2 minutes no vandana now you explain it to ayushman ayushman then can i say that when you start from home the time is 12 minutes past 9 o'clock how see when you start from home the minute hand is at 12 so that is 12 minutes past 9 o'clock right how is this possible How can I reach here before time when I start walking at twelve minutes past nine o'clock? This means that you are making some mistake when reading the time. So then, how to read the correct time? The numbers written in the clock show the hours and not the minutes. Then how do we read the minutes? It is very easy to read minutes. The minute hand takes five minutes to go from one number to another. That's why when the minute hand moves from twelve to one, then it is not one minute but five minutes. Just like that, when the minute hand reaches to two from twelve, it has been ten minutes. This means it takes me ten minutes from home to reach school. Yes, and this is what I was trying to tell you. Then you should explain it the way Vandana has explained. Today we learned about one mistake when reading the clock, so that we do not repeat the mistake. Time-related word problems. Today we will learn how to solve time-related word problems. Hey good day our vehicle is ready to go come let's distribute mangoes to our relatives Grandpa how long will it take Hmm nearly 3 hours it's 10 now So can you tell me at what time shall we return On adding 3 to 10 gives 13 Grandpa at 13 o'clock No good day after 12 again 1 2 3 begins take a look at the clock carefully moving 3 hours after 10 means 11 and 12 and 1 yes 3 hours after 10 means 1 o'clock of the afternoon got it now yes grandpa we get 1 again after 12 o'clock grandpa how much time will each house take nearly 10 minutes hmm and we have to go to 10 houses so grandpa 10 houses will take 10 10 minutes each so 10 multiply by 10 it will take 100 minutes and do you know how many hours are there in 100 minutes no grandpa well let me tell you one hour has 60 minutes So if we subtract 60 from 100 minutes we will be left with 40 minutes we can also say 
it like this. If we add 60 and 40 minutes together, we will get 100 minutes. So now Goody, you must have known very well that 100 minute means 1 hour and 40 minutes. Besides this, driving from one house to another will also take time. How much time will it take, Grandpa? All the houses are very close, Goody. If we were not carrying boxes with us, we would have easily covered the distance by foot. It will hardly take 50 minutes. Means nearly one hour, Grandpa. You tell me, if there are 60 minutes in an hour, then 50 minutes is how much more or less than it? 50 minutes is less than 60 minutes. On subtracting 50 from 60, we'll get 10. So it is 10 minutes less than 60, Grandpa. Very good. Okay, now a difficult question. Can you add 50 minutes to the previous 1 hour 40 minutes? Mm, how can I add this, Grandpa? Let me show you. If we have to add 50 minutes to 1 hour 40 minutes, then look, units of 40 and 50 are both in minutes. So we can add both of them together. So 50 plus 40 is? 90 minutes, Grandpa. Correct. But is 90 minutes greater than 60 minutes? Yes. So how many hours is this? On subtracting 60 from 90 minutes, we'll get 30. So 1 hour 30 minutes, right Grandpa? Very good. Now add this 1 hour 30 minutes to previous 1 hour. So now we get 2 hours 30 minutes. Isn't it nice Goody? We came back home soon. Yes, Grandpa. It's only 12.20 now. And when did we leave? It turned out to be 10.30. So tell me, how long did it take us? How will we do this, Grandpa? Let me show you. We have to subtract 10.30 from 12.20. The easiest way to do this is by increasing 1 hour from 10.30. First tell me, if we have to add 1 hour to 10.30, how much will we get? 11.30 And if we add one more hour to this? 12.30 But we were back only at 12.20. Yes, Grandpa. So... 12.20 from 12.30 Less than 10 minutes Very good! So, how much time did it take? 10 minutes less than 2 hours means 1 hour 50 minutes Very good! So, what did we learn today? Similar units of time, hours and minutes can be added or subtracted. 1 hour means 60 minutes. And when number of minutes is more than 60, convert it to hours. Thank you.